Well, it finally happened. I'm selling out to get clicks on the internet. Well, welcome back everyone, and uh, where do I even start with this one? Uh, a couple of weeks ago, Nintendo released some footage from a new version of Super Mario Bros. Uh, that they've done for the Switch that was originally on the Wii U. And they've added a new item that, uh, when given to Toadette, turns her sort of into a copy of Peach, but uh, with some of Toadette's uh, attributes. So it didn't take long before the internet to start running with it, and somebody drew a comic where that mushroom was given to Bowser, turning him into a new character called Bowsette. Now, ever since then, the internet's been flooded with comics, and Thingiverse is also filling up with models. And one of my buddies, Matt, uh, who's designed some other figurines before, decided to take a stab at designing a Funko Pop version of Bowsette. And this is her. Now, this is printed on the Ghost, the Flying Bear Ghost printer, at 02 millimeter layer heights. I sliced it in Cura using the uh, experimental tree supports and they did a really good job except for one problem that I'll get into in a second uh, and this was printed using Amazon's basic uh, blue PLA so it printed pretty well uh, the support material mostly came along clear you can see that the layers are nice and even um, the only problem I ran into is that the tree supports built a support that went all the way around this arm and unfortunately when I was popping those support off it took the arm with it now I was able to pry the arm out of the support material and re-glue it back on. Uh, and if I were to do it again, I would probably be able to get it off without breaking it. I just didn't realize it had sort of wrapped so tightly around it. Uh, overall though, the tree supports when used properly will use less filament than a regular support and um, it uh, usually will come away cleaner as well. So tree support is something that is also sort of really important in resin printing and uh, it can help with standard FDM printing as well. So this model turned out really, really nice, and uh, Matt, the guy that designed it, has done a bunch of other of uh, the Funko Pop style ones, and I'm going to include a link to his Thingiverse page below, as well as a link directly to this model in case you want to print one of your own. Well, I just wanted to take a quick second to show you some of the cool work that's being done. I've got one more design that I'm going to show you guys shortly, but it's one that I'm working on in printing and painting, and I want to get it completely finished. If you want me to print more of the Bowsette designs, and there are a lot of them, just let me know in the comments below and uh, I can always do some time lapses of them. Alrighty, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this look at this cool little model, and until next time, stay creative.